Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the Thomas and Friends motorized Percy 6 in 1 set. Now, this box is surprisingly a bit smaller than I thought that it would be, but it's not bad. Um, and I like the pictures on here because it really gets you excited about creating these different layouts. You'll see, of course, it says six ways to build. Anyway, this is the front of the packaging. Here's a side, you can see Percy's very determined. And there's Thomas, and here's the back of the packaging. You'll see it has the name of the set in different languages. And then of course, just the pictures of, of uh, the train layout here, and the little um, bridge and everything, all the parts that you get. Um, shows kids playing with the set on there, very cool. There's the Thomas and Friends website, of course. And this was kid tested and parent approved at the Play Lab by Fisher Price, very cool. Here's the other side of the box. You'll see that you have this nice artwork uh, featuring all the different characters from All Engines Go. Here's the top of the packaging and the bottom. One thing that I really like about this type of packaging is that you'll see here that it has the what I call Thomas barcode. And that's where Thomas is going up the hill looks like on the barcode. I always love that. Here's the inside packaging. You'll see that has that nice picture there of the engines and the flaps. And that's how everything's packaged inside. And this is a look at all of the track that you get inside of this box. And you can see it's a lot of different pieces. You have the tunnel there, the X track, um, the bridge, which comes in two halves, which was a very unique design for that. And then, of course, the instruction manual. And this shows you how the engine works, etc., how the girders go together, and of course, the different layouts that you can uh, build with this uh, setup, which I thought was very interesting. Um, these layouts are very large, too. Um, I actually wasn't able to fit one of these layouts on my table, so I had to go a little bit of a different route and just create my own, which was kind of fun, but I wish I would have been able to fit one of these on my table. Um, looking at the, in, uh, the parts individually, you'll see here that you have this nice tunnel, the red track on top. It has some nice details, including like this little bit of grass tuff detail that's coming down over the sides. You have the nice rock detail as well. Here's the front. And I like because these are each individual pieces of plastic. It gives a nice layering effect, um, which I think is pretty neat, more realistic than it needs to be. Alright, so on the top you'll see that nice grass tuff detail continues on the top there. And then the bright red track. And then here's the bottom. You'll see the inside, and this actually goes together with screws, um, so it has to have adult, uh, adult um, assembly. Now on the top here, you'll see this red track actually spins, and this is an ingenious idea, and let me tell you why. You can build this any way you want, so you're not stuck with having the track go in a single direction. I love that, and I think that's something that should be incorporated more, to give more uh, versatility to how you can use this track. Now here is my favorite part of this entire set. It's this bridge. And to me it reminds me of the Hellgate bridge that Lionel made uh, from Template. And you'll see it's just beautiful cream and red. It really reminds you of classic toy trains, um, especially Template trains. And I think that's great to have this as a model on my layout. I'm so excited to add this to my Christmas layouts too. Just to bring back a little bit of nostalgia for model trains. Here's the top and the bottom. Now one thing I don't like about this bridge is because it's two halves, the plastic's a little bit flimsy. And you can see it doesn't meet up exactly right, and it flexes very, very easily. You can see I'm just pushing it very lightly. You'll see that plastic flexes there. I wish that was a little bit uh, different. Alright, then here's the engine that's included, and it's an All Engines Go Percy. Other than the face, it's not really different than any other standard All Engines Go Percy. But you'll see you have the nice spoiler bands, and of course here's the face. He's very determined. He's going to get up hills and things like that. I really like that face. There's the funnel there too. And then here's the other side, which is basically the same as the other. And then here is the back of the engine, and you'll see that you have the nice coal tender, the buffers, all that good details, and the long coupling. Here's the top of the engine. And the bottom. Alright, but now that we've seen that, let's take a look at the layout and everything all set up together. You'll see that I used every piece except for these few pieces here. And this is the layout that I was able to make. All in all, pretty, pretty cool. Alright, but first we're going to start Percy. He goes up the big hill there around the curves, and then over the bridge. I love that suspension bridge. Then he comes around the track there, and back on the loop. And let's see that up in a close-up. All right, so all in all, what do I think of this set and this layout? Well, 
I'm going to be honest with you, I think this is a great way to get different parts and pieces and to really expand your motorized world. Um, the price was pretty good. I believe it's Walmart exclusive. And I actually got this as a Christmas gift uh, from my aunt and cousin. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, but I do think it's a great value for the money. Um, I think it's a great set. And I think it's a great way, like I said, to really expand your world. Um, especially if you start with just a small starter set, you could easily add this to your collection and really expand your world of Sodor. Um, I like how you get four straight track pieces. A lot of times now it's hard to get those straight tracks. So I think that's cool that they've added those. Um, you also get a nice balance of switches, um, tunnels, and of course the Great Bridge. So like I said, I really think it's a great value and I do like this set. Um, if you're interested in buying it, even if you're not an All In Just Go fan, I would recommend it because, like I said, you can really expand your collection and add some track to your collection there. And that bridge is just absolutely incredible. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.